everyone needs a remote manager. I don't know how many times I've tried to turn on the television and then had to search high and low for that remote. I mean, I just had it. How could it? Oh, oh, not that kind of remote manager. Ah, it makes much more sense. So if you're building most any kind of IoT design these days, you also need to think about its network. How will it be managed? How will it be monitored? How will it be secured? And that doesn't even start to bring up the issue of automation, because you don't want to have to send a truck out into the field every time that newfangled IoT device of yours needs a firmware update. <laughs> I mean, just about anything that involves sending a truck out into the field is a bad thing, unless we're talking about the ice cream truck or a taco truck. It's best avoided, right? <laughs> Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. Let's face it, networks are complex and connectivity issues can plague even the most perfectly engineered hardware. In this episode of Chalk Talk, we're talking about what we need to do to maintain an always-on, always-secure network with Stefan Budricks from Digi International. Stefan and I discuss why remote device management, data management, and security are cornerstones to the Digi Remote Manager, and why it may be just the solution you need for your next design. All right, let's get started. And before we go any further, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about Digi's Remote Manager. Hi, Stefan. Thank you so much for joining me. How are you doing? Great. Thank you for asking. So today we're talking about a variety of network challenges and connectivity issues are most often at the top of that list. So Stefan, what kind of impact are we really talking about here? Top of the list of network challenges is no doubt like connectivity failures, which is widely caused by reconfiguration miscues, initial configuration miscues, which as you know, happen for a variety of reasons. It can often be boiled down to too many devices that are not easy to manage and audit from a central location. It causes havoc in your network. Unexpected interruptions like power failures or overloads or even simple human error. The most dreaded failure, of course, being a security breach. I feel the path to simplifying the deployments and making everything easier to do is through automation. It's through doing pre-validated configurations, using tools that allow you to pre-configure everything and call back home essentially and have that configuration be pushed back to the device if it ever becomes non-compliant again, as well as utilizing systems that allow you to pre-validate a configuration and auto-configure the device. With a little work up front, you ultimately find yourself being able to deploy devices faster at a fraction of the cost with fewer interruptions. If we look at the average cost of an unplanned downtime, it's roughly $42,000 per hour, obviously depending on the size of your network or your infrastructure and your business itself, but roughly on average, that's $42,000. Hardware failures and software failures account for roughly 72% of network downtime, and the average cost of a data breach is, give or take, $8 million. These are big numbers that cost a lot to your business, and these can all be avoided with reliable management tools. Those are some really big numbers. Now, Stefan, I know from being the host of this here webcast series for the last 14 years that this technology in particular is changing almost daily. What kind of changes have you been seeing in this realm in particular? Network managers are always challenged keeping up with the ever-changing technologies, hardware, software, cellular technologies. Networks get more and more complex Operations have to become more resilient and more intelligent. We're asking IT managers to be able to track more and more devices than ever before with ever increasing complexity in the deployment. Think of a simple traffic intersection. In fact, like today, it may not be so simple. You may see devices connected to the traffic controller, to a camera, to an RFID reader, variable messaging signs, just to name a few, but everything is interconnected and everything has a connected device on it, especially in the IoT market. In these scenarios, a network manager may want to configure different device protocols and alerts based on the job that the devices are doing. So you obviously need real-time status alerts for traffic controllers, but you also need to be able to immediately check device health and get any kind of messaging that you need from that. My advice, make sure your remote management solutions can be flexible so 
you can obviously get all that connected technologies and be able to manage them all at the same time. And obviously also have the flexibility to give them all their individual configurations, but manage them as a group. That's super important that they are functioning optimally for that specific need and not just having a general configuration overall. That's super important in a remote management platform that you need for your network. Something we hear often is that organizations already have a system and IT managers look to accomplish as much as possible in that system to limit the necessity of running multiple platforms. In this case, comprehensive API integration is a must. So a lot of people are moving into cloud platform systems like Azure. They're having hosted environments in Azure. And a lot of times with proprietary technology, you don't have that interconnectivity. This is where APIs come in. You need to have a full list of APIs available in a remote management platform to be able to interconnect between the management platform for all these connected IoT devices and networks, and then connecting that through to whatever platform or management system that you're using. This is integral to keeping up with the changing technologies because you can always connect your controls, your data, all your reporting, everything back into whatever changing technologies you're using and whatever comes in the future, we can always integrate with APIs. So APIs are super important with keeping up with changing landscape. And if we look over here as well, by 2024, at least 65% of the world's populations are going to be using 5G. So that's, again, change technology from the cellular space. And over 70% of the globe's population will have mobile connectivity by 2023. So thinking that you're not going to have connectivity in your networks through cellular is a misnomer. We're definitely going to have that in the future. It's happening already. So, Stefan, that absolutely makes sense. Now, for today's networks, we also need to talk about IoT, and that adds a whole lot more complexity, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I touched on this a little bit already, but interconnectivity with huge, large cloud platforms for infrastructure management, for connecting all your business requirements beyond just your networks, that's super important. And you have to be able to interconnect everything to have that central management system. And with the APIs specifically and with web services, you need to be able to connect to Azure, AWS, Google platforms. You need to be able to trigger business process flows and retain information long-term in any database so that you're not limited to what your solutions are. You should be able to have your data where you want it. And this APIs and edge computing and the flexibility of a single pane of glass platform helps you do that. So, Stefan, there's also another important element of all of this, a networking elephant in the room, IT resources. Now, I don't know about you, but none of the companies I have worked with have unlimited IT budgets. Yeah, absolutely. And here's the kicker. Network professionals are being asked to keep four to nines uptime at near 100% without any additional budget or certainly not enough to cover the complexities and typically without adding headcount either. When you start adding 100, 200, even thousands or tens of thousands of devices to your network, there's usually a need to add headcount to the operation team, and you have additional operation costs as well on top of that. One way to do more with less is to utilize a remote management platform. It may sound simple to utilize a platform like that, but what we find is that not enough organizations do so. Companies that do deploy a remote management platform tend to find it easier to maintain their networks with regular and routine firmware updates, security patches. Take, for instance, a security update scenario. A company that doesn't utilize such a platform would find themselves having to log into devices manually. With a tool like DigiRemote Manager, though, that same patch can be automated to deploy as soon as the security alert comes through with defined groupings and taggings for the individual devices and the groups that those devices are attached to. Without that, you're limited and you're stuck to either spending potentially millions of dollars trying to create your own proprietary software to do so, or it's boots on the ground, it's a truck rollout, it's having to go to those individual devices by hand and log into those devices and update that firmware, especially when you have four deployed devices in multiple regions or across the globe. So, Stefan, if I need to maintain an always-on, always-secure network, how can Digi help me? There's four must-haves to build and maintain that always-on, always-secure network, demanded for network managers, honestly. First and foremost is control. 
It's automation, visibility, remote access. All those things are key within control. Second would be resilience. The conditions for maintaining a network are always changing. New devices are coming on. All devices are falling off, entering in the human element. The key is to have a network with resilience, one that has strength and power, but also has that next step and that security, both built into the devices on the network and on the ongoing management and updates of those devices. Finally, you get to intelligence. You want those options to work with the technologies of today, but also to hedge your investment as technologies evolve. And we can see here through the Digi built-in advantage, we cover all four of those pillars with Digi Remote Manager being our control piece, Digi Sure Link being that resilience, our Digi Trust Fence being security, and our Dell OS being that intelligence piece. So Digi's approach in this space to cover the control aspect is Remote Manager. It is central to our solution. We can see that we're covering all aspects of what is a necessity through the Digi Advantage, you can see Remote Manager is the central key ecosystem behind that solution. So Stefan, let's dig in more into your Remote Manager. What does it really buy me as an engineer? Sure. So there's three pillars to our design and our management and our development of our Remote Manager platform. Digi Remote Manager is built on remote device management, data management, and security. We feel that with appropriate remote management, that that requires reliable deployments, connection, updates and lifecycle management of connected devices, the ability to monitor status, update firmware, and troubleshoot your device. What all this combines to is lower cost, lower time to utilization with the Digital Remote Manager platform. You have less boots on the ground, you have less truck rollouts, and ultimately you're just a lot more efficient. Our next step is data management. Trusted data from IoT devices for predictive insights and drive optimization is what defines data management in this space. And ultimately, that allows you to generate new revenue opportunities. If you're aware of what your devices are doing, you have insights to be able to implement them in different ways to drive revenue even more or be more efficient because of that data. And finally, and most importantly, is security. Safe IoT with endpoint security, resilient networking, secure device updates, and secure intake for real-time data, that is the key to security. This allows you to have automated device monitoring alerts and remediate to detect and quickly deploy security responses. This is the key three pillars of Digital Remote Manager. Cool. So, Stefan, can we talk more about the remote device management part of this? What exactly are we talking about here? So, first and foremost, and most importantly, you have to be able to update your firmware remotely. This is key. With Digital Remote Manager, you're able to update your firmware in two ways. You can either update the firmware directly from our firmware repository that is local on our platform. We publish all our available firmwares there, and you're able to select from that firmware and put it in there. But if you have a firmware version that's local to your device, and that's the version you want to use because maybe you've done some edits or tweaks to that, you can always load the local firmware from your device into Digi Remote Manager and push that firmware to other devices or even create a master copy, as well as secure out-of-band management and console access. Through Digi Remote Manager, you can perform true out-of-band management with virtually any brand of enterprise hardware via the serial connections through a combination of Digi Remote Manager and our Digi Accelerated Linux, which is our Dell firmware operating system. The next step to remote device management and digital remote manager is our ability to organize devices and create configurations. So organization options are groups, tags, and notes. Uh, with groups, you can create a single or a multi-level group to organize and manage those devices. Now, with the groups, it's very important that you're not limited in creating a group in any way. We allow you to create a group with any device type and you can actually create multiple groups with the same device type. So we recognize that there may be scenarios where you have the same device type, but there's a different need or use case for each of those device types. So by allowing you to create different groups with the same device type, you can add a different configuration to each of those groups and therefore use the devices as they're intended for your business need. And then finally, obviously, I touched on configuration manager that allows you to automatically manage device firmware, settings, files, upload custom scripts, 
In addition, you can also provide device-specific settings to override one or more settings. This is super important because if you have a group of devices, possibly 100 devices, maybe not every single device has the exact same configuration settings on every single level. So we allow you to update or even include the individual device overrides within the master configuration to where if that device ever becomes out of compliance, it'll call back to the master configuration, but it will also recognize those individual device overrides and fix the device accordingly. That's cool. Now, Stefan, on to the next item in your list. That was data management, right? How can Digi Remote Manager help me here? Absolutely. We do this with our Remote Manager Data Streams technology. So the first question you might want to ask is, what is a data stream? So a data stream is time series data that involves two concepts, data points and data streams. Data points are individual values which are stored at specific times, while data streams are containers of data points. Data streams contain metadata about the data points held within them. Data streams and the data points they hold are addressed using a hierarchical path, much like folders. Remote Manager's data stream service is a RESTful API for storing and accessing time series data in Remote Manager. Ultimately, what this means is you're able to store, access time series data, create real-time charts to visualize and monitor that data, and you can do that within your own platforms. If you have your own analytics engine or analytics software, you can pull these data streams into there and create these real-time charts. Data streams are fully searchable. Data can also be used to roll into interval summaries. Ultimately, this is unlimited, unrestricted access to your data, both from remote manager and on the individual device and possibly even connected devices. So, Stefan, unfortunately, a lot of times security is an afterthought or a bolt-on to a design. Can remote manager help me here as well? Yeah, like you said, historically, security has often been an afterthought or bolt-on to any engineering product. In today's market, however, security is taking a front seat in engineering solutions and design. We recognize the crucial nature of security components to our products and our services, including Digi Remote Manager. Security is at the core of Digi Remote Manager and regarded as a critical component to be passed to our customers. Our Digi Remote Manager security office fiercely protects the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of our Digi Remote Manager services. With over 175 different security controls in place that take into account security frameworks, including ISO 27002, NERC, CIP, all these different security frameworks are all taken into account when developing the platform, including a lot of things for the health markets like the relevant HIPAA and NIC standards. All these different standards and security protocols are all taken into account when developing our security behind the Digi Remote Manager platform. Cool. Now, Stefan, can we dig in a little deeper here? What all is involved with security in particular with Remote Manager? Yeah, absolutely. Digi Remote Manager has some key security functionality that you have control over, obviously, as well. Key and foremost is our Digi Remote Manager security policies. You're able to set up different types of security policies that apply additional levels of security. A policy can restrict the users who can log into the Digi Remote Manager platform, how they log in, and require that all messages must be encrypted. We offer web security policies. You can create a security policy that requires users to log in from a specific IP range or a specific IP address. For example, to allow remote manager users to log into and only from certain systems, use the CIDR settings, which is the classless interdomain routing settings. Remote Manager is integrated with Duo Security to provide two-factor authentication for our users. When this feature is enabled, the users that log into Remote Manager from one device must also authenticate his or her login from a second device, like a mobile phone or a tablet or anything that can hold the Duo application. We enforce SSL connectivity for all device connections, as well as encrypt all messaging and data from SMS and SM over UDP communications. So, Stefan, automation is also an important part of any successful network, right? How does Digi's remote manager approach automation? Yeah, absolutely. Automation and security actually uh, have a lot in common that you wouldn't think of. So a great example of this is 
the ability to schedule single and mass firmware configuration updates for devices, the ability to define a master configuration with the ability to scan all your devices for compliance. And if a device comes out of compliance, reapply that master configuration. All this is automated, but this also increases your level of security as we've spoken about before. It makes sure that no device is out of compliance. If a device is acting abnormally, it pulls it back into compliance. If a device ever has a security risk, it may be due to old firmware. You can automatically schedule firmware updates to get everything up to date, as well as obviously device health monitoring and having automated device health monitoring and the ability to take action on that monitoring and the alerts and alarms that you get from there. Cool. All right. Well, Stefan, I think that's about all I have time for today, but can you recap your main points for me? Absolutely. Ultimately, did your remote manager allows you to transform dispersed IoT devices into an intelligent connected network. It's self-managing, it's easily monitored and secure, an ecosystem that is dynamic and easily extended. It's feature rich in application with a simple and easy to use experience. That is Digi Remote Manager, and those statements and sentiments right there will never go away. Excellent. Well, I think that's all I have time for. Thank you so much for joining me, Stefan. This was super cool. I had fun. Thanks a lot. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about Digi's Remote Manager. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.